Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya and I love her mess and all things good quality. Today we will be covering a brand that is new to my YouTube channel but not new to my Instagram, Goyard. Now Goyard is a pretty well-known brand but it wasn't always and I feel like relatively recently Goyard became very popular. Goyard makes most of their bags out of thin canvas which is cotton so their bags are not made from leather although they do have some bags that are made of leather most of them are not and then they put leather on the handles and leather outside now i personally like how goyard bags look like i think that they are timeless and they're very comfortable and a lot of them are very lightweight so i guess the most popular question i get is which tote is better the saint louis tote which is the less expensive version or the artois tote which is more expensive i have both and i have two variations of the Saint Louis tote it is super 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 lightweight for me it makes the perfect bag whenever I need to carry my laptop bonus tip that I actually didn't know about Goyard is that you can get an insert for these bags and it makes the organization of the bag a lot easier because as you can see like the canvas wrinkles and the bag sort of like does this I don't like that. My other bag, the one that has insert, does not do that. So it's just a little pro tip for you. Whenever you need to carry something heavy, I do prefer the Saint Louis tote. However, if you're thinking of getting a tote that's perfect for traveling, I cannot recommend the Artois tote enough. This is my favorite travel bag. I have a lot of stuff inside, but it has a zipper, which I absolutely love because when you go through security, you don't want all of your stuff stuff all over the x-ray machine and also this tote is made out of double canvas and the leather is slightly more substantial and it's also reinforced on the corners right here as you can see this corner is already scratched so it makes it just a way more sturdier bag to travel now it is significantly heavier because again double canvas versus single canvas so i would usually put this bag on top of my carry-on and i would not carry it because it's obviously huge i have the biggest size and i definitely do not regret getting this size it kind of shrinks and then it also expands which makes it a perfect bag because whenever i fly in the us they don't really care about the size of my carry-on items and in europe it's a very big deal and a lot of european airlines even not the most budget European airlines really care about the size of the handbag. So if you need to fit this bag into one of these small spaces, that they are authorized you still can and right now this bag is pretty stuffed and if you do a little too much shopping and flying home you could always put your shopping in here and whenever i fly with my hermes bags i will usually put them inside there i will leave it a little bit emptier and i will put birkin inside the dust bag in here and inside my birkin maybe i'll put kelly 20 which is a mini kelly as you know I am very against like Hermes bag stacking like close sizes because they are damaging the bags. So this is my most perfect travel bag. I cannot recommend it enough. The only thing that I do regret with this bag is getting it in this color, navy blue. I loved this color back then and I still like this color. But I actually got exactly the same bag, the Artois Tote in the largest size for my mom and I got it in black with tan and I just fell in love with that combination so much that I kind of regret not getting the same and getting navy blue. Having said that it's still an amazing bag. I still like it a lot and definitely recommend this bag. So I'm guessing if you have to choose between the Artois and the Saint Louis tote, ask yourself for which purpose are you going to use this bag. If you're going to use it for everyday carrying things like laptop or just a lot of things that us women need to carry i definitely recommend the saint louis tote but if you are traveling or if you are a person that needs a zipper definitely the artois tote now moving on to 
quality issues. I feel like I need to be honest with all of you. If you don't know, I have lots of interactive conversations on my Instagram stories. I answer lots of questions. Every day of the week, we usually have discussions. We talk all things luxury. In one of those discussions, a quality issue with Goyer came up. I started talking about Goyer bags and then my followers started coming out and asking me questions about Goyer bag handles, color, peeling off, rubbing off, even leaking off sometimes. From what I could gather from you, uh, these issues happen in hot and humid weather that the paint from the leather just starts rubbing off and a lot of you have your beautiful clothes ruined because of the handles of the Goyard bags. Also some of you mentioned that if you are using hand sanitizer that it will cause Goyard handles to melt off as well. Now having said that I personally have never experienced quality issues like that with Goyard even though I do live in Miami but I guess I'm not actively wearing my bags in super hot weather which makes it counterintuitive because according to my research the Goyard Saint Louis tote which is the white one right here was made for the beach which is usually hot and humid so yeah that doesn't make any sense but then Goyard representative reached out and said that they had this quality issue only from years of 2015 to 2018. So as you know me, I do my own research and thank you all for being a part of this wonderful community because I can ask you so many questions. Like so many of you sent me the photos of what happened to your Goyard bag handles. Also, so many of you reached out to tell me which year you purchased the bags. And according to my research, while a big majority of the bags that had that quality issues were from 2015 to 2018 a lot of you had these issues with bags purchased outside of those years either before or after and as recent as this year and last year which leads me to believe that most likely now I don't know but most likely they haven't fixed the issue I'm saying it again I personally have not had any issues with Goyard but I trust my followers I trust my community and given the photos that I have seen yeah the color is definitely leaking now a lot of my followers reached out to me and said that Goyard is very open at helping fix the issue from what you told me Mango decided to join us. Say hello to Mango. Anyways, back to Goyard. From your experiences, Goyard has been willing to uh, fix and replace the handles or in some cases even give you a brand new bag. If they do replace the handles, it usually takes a while. And in some cases, some of my followers reported that they actually had to pay for the handles to be replaced, which I don't really agree with. But most of you told me that Goyard has been willing to take care of this issue for free and that in some cases Goyard was willing to pay for dry cleaning bills of all the clothes that the handles ruined. Obviously in that case my followers brought their clothes and whatever items that were damaged with them to the store and then the store evaluated per case basis. Now I know that some of you have sworn off Goyard because of these quality issues. Again I have not had any quality issues myself and I still definitely recommend Goyard especially for a travel bag I have personally not met a better travel bag myself if you have any recommendations that you'd like to share for travel bags or very lightweight bags canvas non canvas please share and comment below because I'm always very curious of learning the alternatives and since I know that some of my followers will have stopped buying Goyard I'm more than happy to to look for alternatives for them and always evaluate them. Let me know if you have any Goyard related questions or non Goyard related questions or any evaluations that I should do next on my channel. Please comment below, I'm very curious. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow and don't miss out my Instagram stories. As always, with love.